Hello, son. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I gotta back out first. I should have backed out before I started the camera. So today is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Ooh, my new powder looks good. Um, and they're allowing everyone to wear pajamas because they're not giving us the day off. So this is as close as I'm coming to pajamas, a little tracksuit, because <laughs> I don't go out in public anywhere in pajamas. But I'm trying to fit in with these high schoolers. Some of them are like straight, close to being just out of high school, about your age. Some of them are older. I mean, there's 70 people in that office, um, all ages. It's definitely all nationalities. White is the minority, oddly. And so I'm trying to fit in a little bit because they all, they do things and I don't know. They like everybody to play along. So, <laughs> so yesterday was Thanksgiving and no, I didn't feel like posting a damn video. Um, I dyed my hair. I got off, I worked all day long. The tyrant was gone, thank God. He was sick, apparently. I think he's fucking lazy, personally. But he was sick, and so he didn't come in. And um, I came home, cut my hair, dyed it a light golden brown, and I put highlights in it. I mean, that's a lot. That would cost like a hundred, over a hundred dollars to have some, pay somebody to do it. And I'm able to do it because of the positioning of the mirrors in that bathroom. and. I'm just gonna have to recreate it somehow because I like to do my own hair. It took me years to be able to do it pretty good and I just like it. But, so I did that and I was really tired and then yesterday I woke up kinda just stiff and grumpy because I was exhausted. So I did some yoga in the morning and I did have Thanksgiving and it worked out pretty fine just getting peppered turkey that was sliced and you know, I got all the fixings. So I did have a Thanksgiving meal and I have three left over that are frozen. I didn't overdo it. My sister was texting me throughout the day. Apparently she lives with um, this guy named Trini who owned a barber shop by my grandma's house who used to always put money on her books when she was in prison. I think she used to do a little fa do some favors for him, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> and I don't know, I guess she's living in a senior place with him. He was really fucking old before she went to prison. And when she went to prison, it was when you were a baby. So we're talking like over 15 years ago, 20 years ago. So they've known each other for a long, long time. He even let her live in his barber shop. But a couple of years ago, she was on the freaking news. <laughs> when you started the military, me and your dad were sitting in the living room and this girl came out the news with orange hair it was talking about how they were tearing down all the buildings it was her she had an orange wig on and uh yeah he let her and my brother live in there because you know they've been homeless for a long time and um so they've torn it down now and so now she's straight just lives with him he must have left his wife maybe i don't know but she don't want to be living with him she's very miserable she's suicidal she's been suicidal her entire fucking life you don't know how many times and it's always so depressing to hear her talk about wanting to kill herself and I don't know if you remember but exactly one year ago a little over a year ago now she had a stroke so she's slightly paralyzed on her left side and I mean this is just shocking she was 39 years old not even 40 she turned 40 this year actually and um she's having problems from it and uh it's probably due to her drug use that she has and you know, I would imagine there would be a lot of problems. You saw your grandpa, he could never talk again. And she's lucky she could talk. She's very young, but she is kind of paralyzed on one side. And I'm sure, you know, they were going to cut open her skull to relieve some of the pressure. And they were calling me for me to get permission. I was like, oh my God, no, don't put me in this position. I didn't want to have to make her life decisions but um actually at my last job it was for the same organization and i looked up her file and i am listed as one of her next of kins oh my god so is linda um about that i guess linda was reaching out saying she loves me and misses me i miss the hell out of linda too me and her are, were like one and i would like to reconnect with her someday and I don't know, I guess all of her kids have moved out except Savannah. So 
she's there alone with just Savannah. I have no idea where the rest of them went. I don't know. But as for your father, um, I was texting him last night telling him I know he wants me back because why is he giving me all this money? And I told him that it's going to like kill me when I have to walk out of this house. It's going to hurt me. And I told him that, you know, he needs to come clean. He just needs to tell me what happened. And I am pretty sure he's never going to tell me at this point. I think what he wants to do is go ahead, give me the max amount of money because that's what he's doing. He took out this loan because right now it's a buyer's market. I could get, I could take the most amount of money that I have and go buy something. And in the spring he could sell it and make more. But I think that he thinks time will make me soften up and not ask questions. No, that's not it. Uh-uh. Because there's a lifetime of this bullshit happening. My heat's kind of hot. Hold on. No, I, I will always ask questions. I'm going to want to know. And I think a part of him does kind of want to be a single playboy at damn near the age of 52. And that's just fucking insane. I mean, we built a life together. It's This is all just insane. But I think that he is mentally ill. I do. Nobody does this. I mean, <laughs> his excuses for it are piss poor at best. Like saying, tell me Mexican. Yeah, because you never helped do anything. You know, you had a wife that took care of your lawn, took care of your bills, took care of your kids. You traveled, came home, sat on your ass. You never cooked. Nothing. And when I ever would try to ask for him to help, he couldn't. I can't. Is what it would be. So yeah, I did say that. Tuck it up his ass, yeah. Because he wouldn't communicate. He would choke me, he would slam me into walls, he would break things, next day smile. And what it would be is finally when I would get him to sit down with me, I try to talk about things, and he would go run and lock himself in a room. There's no communication. That is not a healthy relationship. That's what ninety nine percent of him locking himself in a room was. And since you've been gone, I think it was so that he could hook up and talk to his women. Because he would straight just be causing fights for nothing. And I'm like, okay. I would tell him, go run. Because I knew it was coming. I, I was predicting it. Seeing it. So, yeah. We're going to just stop that bullshit. Um, oh, God. I found a house almost exactly like the first one I showed you with the skylights. It's in the same area, too, over by Rangeview. It has a decent sized yard for my no grass. Yeah. I want that one. I don't know if I'll get it, though. Um... I don't know. I got to wait on him. For some reason, he said the refinance is going to take two weeks. No, it's not. I think he just thinks he's in the next two weeks, he might be able to talk me into um, refinancing myself. No. They appraised that house at four fifty five, dollars and I'm looking at things three fifty five, three seventy five dollars max. Dreaming about four hundred. dollars I didn't even go on that high. Why the fuck would I go for a house that's that high? With that much maintenance, no. Ooh, Cherry Creek, pretty today, and there's somebody out there. I would be out there. Look at it. The sun is in a different position today. It was usually a little bit more south. And as for Virginia, oh my God, I wish I could go see you. Um, being a hazmat inspector, though. Okay, so like, is that if they send anthrax in an envelope, you gotta go inspect it? Or if there's bombs, like anything dangerous, hazmat is dangerous. I don't know if you should do it. I knew they were going to try to talk you into shit like that. Oh my god, the person in front of me almost fucking hit the rail. <laughs> okay, people are probably hung over. Take nobody's on the roads. Because not everybody has to work. That's why they said we wear pajamas and your mom's wearing a tracksuit here. So... Nobody's out. I wish I wasn't out. I don't want to go today. I did a 45 minute yoga last night because I was just so fucking tense. I want Guy to talk to me. He's never going to and I just have to get over it. And uh, I was just so fucking tense but I felt better and I do feel a little bit more relaxed. I just, ooh, this person in front of me is making me really fucking nervous. They're like swerving. I wonder if they are drunk. Ugh to slow down a little I think because if they go off the fucking rail I don't want to or if they slam into some I don't want to slam into them <sighs> scary 
Today is supposed to be near 60. That's pretty nice. It's cold in the mornings. Right now it's 28. You know how it goes here. It'll be really cold in the morning. Oh, there's the sun. It's in the same spot. You know how it goes. It'll be really cold in the morning. And then it'll warm up in the afternoon. I don't know. No house is perfect. I want my house. I want my marriage. I want my life. I don't want any of this. But I'll buck up and I'll fucking do it. it sucks though. It'll get me closer to leaving this stupid fucking job too. That tyrant is pissing me off. I think he knew he was going to call in sick the day before yesterday. He piled a whole bunch of shit on my spreadsheet. And I don't know if you remember, but he was like, you're going to be mad. And I, it took me till all through the day before yesterday to get it done. Two days in a row because it was so much shit. But I got it done. And he sent me, he asked me to start sending out an email about documents I'm missing. Rather than, you know, help out in other areas, he picked apart that fucking email and sent me about five or six emails picking apart what I said. So you know what? He's not getting that email anymore. I'm just going to tell him, oh, I forgot. Or, oh, I don't have time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fucking play it. Fuck him. I hate him. And since he's been seeing your fly ass mama, because I, look at me and shit. He's about my age too. Um, he's been buying all kinds of fancy ass clothes. I bet he does make money because he does have a, ma a MBA, Masters of, in Business. And he's a manager there. I bet he does make a lot of money, but he's been buying clothes like fucking crazy. When I first came in, he was wearing faded out shit. He looked like hell. And now he's trying to look all fucking good. As is everybody else. <laughs> I have that effect on people. Not you. <laughs> Some I don't. And the 22-year-old kid in my office, not him. Um, he bar he don't even comb his fucking hair. He comes in. His hair is all calicked. Um, he's a sweet boy. He reminds me of you so much, his personality. He's quiet. He just goes, does his work, and doesn't really talk to anybody. But... I'll be damned if he, his shirt ain't wrinkly, his hair ain't combed. I mean, did he crawl out of bed? Uh, who cares? He's still a cool guy. I like him a lot. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to do this job. They trained him and he trained me. That tyrant is a fucking coward. And once he started seeing I was picking up on shit, he tried to jump in and act like it was him. No, it wasn't him. He's an idiot. Ugh. And, uh... And now his whole focus, he thinks management is just picking apart what somebody does. He can just leave me the fuck alone. Uh, for some reason, my check had 167 extra fucking dollars on it, though. And I can't see my time card. On Friday, they, or Friday, on Wednesday, yeah, they kept sending me my time card to approve. And I've never got a thing like that, but I wonder why I have more money. That's cool. I hope they gave me my raise. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know to check and see if they posted the time card. Ugh, I don't want to go do this today, to be honest. Nobody does. These streets are bare. Nobody's out but me. Ooh, someone hit that pool right there. Yikes. Drunk drivers. I haven't drank in over a year, if you haven't noticed. Do I feel better or no? And I'm a little bit fatter. I think the stress of all this. And I don't walk my as much. I just crawl in bed. I'm just so mentally tired from this job and this tyrant and dealing with all the bullshit. I mean, on the weekends, up until last weekend even, for about the past month, I've had to leave the house for three, four hours, sit in a car, go walk Maya. You know, it's been freezing too. It's just really, really, really fucking sucked. Um... I'm kind of glad your dad did take the house off the market so I could just be at home and have my normal routine. But I'm here. I'm ready to do this Friday and then go home. I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.